No person who loves Allah and the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam can be uh, completely unaffected by the insults towards the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, by the way that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has been drawn, ridiculed, portrayed, uh, particularly in the Western image, to look like what the Muslim man is being molded to be barbaric, angry, regressive, violent. And so the idea is that our Prophet والسلام, is this way and therefore all Muslims are like that, especially the Muslim man. And the way we're going to prove it is by insulting the Prophet وسلم, and causing people to come out with their emotion to respond in a way that allows them to submit to the very image that they've cast on the Prophet And so you find yourself in this predicament as someone who loves Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, who loves the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, that when he's being insulted, your raw emotion tells you to respond in a certain way. But at the same time, you want to defend the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam while being like the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in defending him, right? You don't want to defend him in a way to where you might make the substantive arguments that are needed to be made to cast away those suspicions or those, those aspersions that have been uh, cast upon him Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, but you also don't want to give them the image because that's what they're trying to do is portray him in a certain way. Now, I want you to think about this with the previous hadith. If defending your brother in his absence, is that rewardable? What then is the reward of defending the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in his absence, right? What good is it then when a person defends the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and does something that would actually cause him to be further insulted. So we have to think about this in a holistic way. Number one, to defend the Prophet Sallallahu is of the most beautiful acts of worship and one that the angels cling towards. And that's why the angels of Badr are so special because they were with those special companions that defended the Prophet Sallallahu physically when no one else would. And Jibreel Alayhi Salam asked the Prophet Sallallahu how do you view the veterans of Badr amongst you, meaning human beings? And the Prophet Sallallahu said, they're the best of us. And Jibreel Alayhi Salam responded, the, the Malaika, the angels who served on that day of Badr are also considered the best of us. Meaning you have the veterans of Badr from the Sahaba, from the companions, the human companions, and the veterans of Badr from the angels that served Allah and His Messenger Sallallahu that protected him in the midst of all of that turmoil when very few people would. You also have someone who defended the honor of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi like Hassan ibn Thabit radiallahu ta'ala anhu. And Hassan ibn Thabit was a poet and he was sent by the enemies of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi to insult him, to lampoon him. And instead, when he saw the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi he could say nothing but words of beauty about his appearance and his character and who he was. And he ended up becoming a Muslim and responding to the enemies of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi on his behalf. And Hassan was so talented that they built a menbar, they built a pulpit for him in the masjid of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi that he would stand up and he would respond on behalf of the Prophet Sallallahu since the Prophet Sallallahu would not respond on his own behalf to insult. And when he would do that, the Prophet Sallallahu looked at him in a certain way. And on more than one occasion, the Prophet Sallallahu said that Jibreel Alayhi Salam is with Hassan, not any angel. Jibreel is with Hassan so long as he defends the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He would even tell him, Uhjur mushrikeen fa'inna Jibreel ma'ak. Go ahead and lampoon them because Jibreel is with you. Respond to them, Jibreel is with you. And some of the scholars connected that to uh, the verse in Surah Al-Hashr where Allah talks about the believers who love the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi more than themselves. وَأَيَّدَهُمْ بِرُوحٍ مِّنْ And Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Taala supports them with a spirit from Him. The majority of the scholars said Ruhin Min refers to uh, the, the spirit of the power of Allah Subh'anaHu not Ruh al Qudus being Jibreel alayhi salam, the Holy Spirit. But some of the scholars said that it could possibly mean that as well that when a person defends the Prophet, salam, not just any angel would come and support them, but maybe Jibreel alayhi salam as well, because that's what caused Jibreel to come in the life of Hassan ibn Thabit. Anhu. So, again, if defending your brother in his absence with his honor causes an angel to defend you and protect you, what then does that mean when we defend the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam intelligently, intellectually, emotionally without becoming who they want us to become and demonstrating in the process of defending the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam 
the character of the Prophet وسلم, even in that defense so that we don't submit to that horrific image that they've painted of him sallallahu alayhi wa sallam.